So I think we can agree everybody likes a good game, right? Sonic 06? I said a good game. Finally, a good game. Ride to Hell Retribution. This game sucks more than my new haircut. I'll be playing 10 of the worst games of all time according to Games Radar. Starting at number 10 with Ride to Hell Retribution. This game kind of gives off Spike TV vibes. This game can't be that bad with an intro that good. You could literally sum the game up with driving and kicking. I mean, look at this. I'm just kicking this guy over and over. It's hammering time. Well, I actually got to a point where you got to use a gun. It takes like 10 reloads just to kill somebody, so it's basically pointless. It takes just as long to kill somebody with a gun as it does to kick them. And that's pretty much Ride to Hell Retribution. Number 9, Link Faces of Evil. Gee, it sure is boring around here. Well, that pretty much sums up that game. So number eight, we have Aquaman Battle for Atlantis. I'm not spending much time on this game. There's not anything to talk about. I tried to find things to talk about, but there's just no content. You, f you swim around and you just fight and the controls are bad, the music's bad. I mean, at least some of the other games are funny. So moving on to number seven, we got Homey Rollers on the DS. Never heard of this game, but we got all the classic characters here like Mac Daddy, El Chilote, Chipotle, I don't know, something like that. You got Cardi B, Willie Nelson. I'm going with this guy. I'm going with Stephen Hawking's worst nightmare here. We got Willie G. Holy crap, do y'all hear that bass line? So yeah, this game's a pretty typical kart racer game, I would say, other than the fact it's easier to play Mario Kart with your feet. I mean, this game is just way too hard. I tried playing this race like three times and I just couldn't beat it. I did manage to actually beat one race. I don't know if there's different, like, difficulty levels, but each, each racer that you pick has different stages or racetracks that you get to race on so so I can at least say there's some variety when it comes to the different racers and the different stages but I mean overall it's just way too difficult so while I was doing some research on this game I went on YouTube and I looked up homie rollers and there's not really anything but I did end up finding a trailer teaser and I just have to show you how hilarious this honestly is and what the that's cool damn Baby girl, what you know about video games? You're a chick, eh? Damn! 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 This game sucks. What did it refer to? What did it refer to? Oh, Lord! Lord, Jesus! Oh, Lord! Oh, Jesus! What the fuck? What you doing, Terry? Terry, what the fuck? What the fuck? What Number six, Fugitive Hunter. So the game is a first person shooter where you hunt down terrorists and then fist fight them to capture them. I am dead serious. And it's not a normal fist fight, like look at this. Oh yeah, did I mention Osama Bin Laden's in this game and you fist fight him too? So yeah, the game's pretty simple, you just kind of like go through these areas 
clear out enemies, go to the next area, and then you basically fist fight these different terrorists. The graphics actually aren't that bad other than some bad voice acting where their mouths don't move. I got no beef with you, dog. Where's Weber at? You have to web? I'll tell you where he at. Give me some money, dog. Here's some cash. I'll give you the key to the warehouse. Now get out of here. I got no beef with you, dog. Where's Weber at? You have to web? I'll tell you where he at. Give me some money, dog. Here's some cash. I'll give you the key to the warehouse. Now get out of here. Number five, Custer's Revenge. So yeah, I made a clip, but I'm not gonna show any gameplay. Look it up and that kind of explains why. I might be able to get away with it, but it's basically like Atari porn and I'm not gonna risk anything. Number four, Superman 64. Also known by Superman The New Adventures. You fly through rings and I have to say, I played it with an Xbox controller on PC and the controls weren't too bad. It's also upscaled a little bit, so it doesn't look terrible, but. So yeah, you basically fly through rings and you can only miss a few of these. I had to play it over and over. Yeah, after you fly through the rings, the next thing that you're supposed to do is pick up these cars, but they only give you six seconds to even figure out what the hell you're supposed to do. <laughs> and then it just runs out when I have seven seconds left. Like what? How, how? So yeah, they give you six In seconds to do time, this. And if you mess up, sealed. then you start again from the beginning and you have to fly through all these rings. Then there's no time to waste. So once you successfully throw the cars, guess what's next? Just guess. More rings. Yeah, more rings. So after you do that, I wonder what's next. You have to pick up another car and then you fly it to the exit. Just take a wild guess of what's next. More rings. Yeah, I turned the game off immediately after this. I'm not even sure if there's anything else other than just picking cars up and flying through rings and guess what? I'm not playing this game ever again, so I guess I'll never find out. So number three, we have Club Drive. And to be honest, I don't even want to talk about this game. It's that bad, but I guess I'm going to. So I couldn't record the game's music for some reason. I don't know. This game just didn't want to cooperate. I mean, at least the sound for the car sounds good. Just kidding. I actually found a muscle car sound effect on YouTube. The car actually sounds more like a lawnmower, to be honest. Just imagine playing this game for a second. One, it's already garbage, but imagine playing it without any sound effects. I'm disgusted by this game. And what's even sadder is Ridge Racer came out the same year as this on the PlayStation 1. This game has no excuse for being this bad. One of the hardest things too is just to tell where you're going. Look at the map, like what is even the point of this? So yeah, we still got two really bad games to play next, so let's go ahead and head over to those. Number two, E.T. So yeah, this is one of those where the hell are you supposed to go type of games. You just walk around and there's no instructions. I mean, I don't even know what you're supposed to be doing. And could they pick any other colors than green? Alright, so you walk down to the next screen and... I guess you pick this up, and who the hell's this guy? And then you just fall in a random hole, and you pick up a C? I thought that was a rope. I don't know what that's supposed to be. So yeah, you get out, and you go to the next screen. So I guess this guy just chases you the whole game. So you, I fell in another hole? I don't remember E.T. getting thrown in a hole in the movie, and then lifting his neck up to fly out. Alright, well, I'm falling down the hole again. So I guess let's get back out. You gotta be kidding me. If this guy grabs you, he just throws you back in the hole. Alright, well I guess we'll get out again. Dude, get out of the damn hole.
If you don't get... Well, finally got out. I've had enough. Lastly, big rigs at number one. I like them big. I like them chunky. So you already know this game is going to be bad when there's only two playable maps out of four. If you try to pick these two other maps, the game crashes immediately. All right, so I guess we're racing this guy, but he's not moving. So yeah, you can drive through anything on this game. Nothing stops you and you just stick to the road. Like, look, I'm driving straight through this bridge. Don't you love under the bridge? I mean, I don't even feel like the game designers play tested this game, or maybe it's supposed to be intentionally bad. The trucks don't actually go that fast unless you put them in reverse. You can actually go so fast in these trucks that the speedometer just restarts. It's like, honestly, if you have a chance to play this game, I recommend at least playing it. It's bad. I mean, this definitely deserves the number one. I mean, some of these other games are a little worse, but this is just unfinished. And what's even crazier is they sold this game in stores in some places. I like them chunky, 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 chunky. 